guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Janelle and today I'm gonna be taking you guys I'm gonna be taking you guys product shopping with me yes we are gonna go shop for some natural hair products I need a few things so I figured I'll just bring you guys with me and show you what I do you know when I'm picking out my products now there are a couple of things that I do want to talk about before we hit the store so a couple things that you should do before you actually go out and spend your coins make sure that you do your research there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of youtube bloggers and blogs out there that tell you about different products product reviews i have a couple product reviews so you know go check them out and some more will be coming your way but make sure you know what your hair needs, what your hair porosity is. Um, I have high porosity hair. If you want me to do a video about porosity or taking care of high porosity hair, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely do that for you guys because high porosity hair is not easy to deal with. Sometimes, you know, I will feel compelled to buy a product and just impulse buy it just to try it out. But usually I like to do some research to see how others with a similar hair type and porosity like use and how they like a certain product especially if it's like a really expensive product like if I've got to drop more than $15 on this product I'm definitely doing my research so yeah um, of course everyone is different so you know your hair might not react the same way that this youtuber's hair reacted to a product so be mindful of that it may not work the same for you even if you think you have even if you think that's your hair twin it might still turn out different for you so you know just be wary ingredients make sure you know what ingredients will work and won't work in your hair so i typically go for products with all natural ingredients i don't like products with alcohol because it dries out my hair my hair's already super freaking dry so alcohol does not it just yeah i just try to stay away from it some of the products i use does have alcohol in it but it's not like the second ingredient you know what i mean most important thing know what your budget is um, because natural products can get pricey af so definitely figure out how much you want to spend before you get into a store and go overboard because that's definitely happened to me especially when i first started going natural i would just go in there and spend like money on products that i probably didn't even use after a while shopping for oils is a whole nother thing for me like hair oils is a whole nother thing so if y'all want a video on that leave a comment down below and I can definitely do that as well because different oils will do different things for your hair so you do need to know what will work for you and what won't before you go spend ten dollars on a bottle of some expensive oil so yeah with that being said we are gonna go straight into this shopping vlog video thing I don't know what it's called but I'll see you guys in Target bye So we're at Target. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> That's my cousin, y'all. So we're just about to go, you know, shopping. Like I said before, hair shopping, hair product shopping, whatever you want to call it. That's what we about to do. Oh, we about to get ran over. That's what we about to do. Oh my. All right. So I'm gonna cut this off and meet you guys back in the hair section. Do they still call it the ethnic hair section? <laughs> I hope not. All right, guys. So we're in the hair section, and there's a lot of products. It's a lot, a lot of products. Lots of expensive products. Lots of cheap ones. So which one are you gonna get? So by now you should have actually already done your research on what products you want, but sometimes you don't have time to do that. So basically, this is when you start looking at ingredients. So I need leave-in conditioner, and I'm gonna. Look at the ingredients of all the leave-in conditioners that look interesting. Maybe I might get something other than leave-in conditioner because I kind of already know which one I want. If I can find it, I already know. Babe, definitely just have to. So since I already know what leave-in conditioner is, well, blah, 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 let me cut that out. Since I already know what leave-in conditioner I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look for like a hair butter or something like that. Just wanna try something new, you know? So, right now, I don't even know. There's so many. 
Oh, y'all know about this. This is a fave right here. This is this is that stuff right here. It's fourteen dollars though, so I don't know. Aloe wet butter gel. Okay. So this right here has aloe aloe vera gel, the technical word for that. Water, macadamia, gratissima seed oil. So yeah, this product looks like it has a lot of natural ingredients in it and I that's what I usually go for so if you're really on a budget and you don't know what products to get this is why I love Target because they have samples simple products are your best friends like they have little mixed chicks um, samples for four dollars which a regular bottle is like I don't know like twenty dollars for mixed chicks I don't know it's really expensive you can try out Shea Moisture for four dollars you can try out the Blueberry Bliss line I wish they had more um, you can also try out Carol's Daughter. It's good. It's a nice little tip if you're, you know, on a budget like like me. Okay, so this is what I'm leaving with, and some of this is not mine. I'm not rich, y'all. This is my cousin's. <laughs> some of that stuff, but you know, usually on a normal day, I wouldn't spend this much money on hair products, but I need stuff, and this is for y'all. So enjoy. You don't need makeup, sis. Your face is be by it, so. You can get them to scan. Look at this. I am again. I'm under my budget. Forty-nine dollars. That's actually. That's actually not that bad. <laughs> Okay, so they wouldn't let us record in the store. Ooh, the lighting is terrible. They wouldn't let us record in the beauty supply store, but y'all know what a beauty supply store looks like anyway, so I don't think I need to show y'all. I just got some Eco Styler gel, and Kadeem got a big old bonnet. You want to show them your big old bonnet? Extra large with olive oil and argan oil. Fancy, fancy. Yes. Okay. And I think that's about it. I'm about to hit up another beauty supply store to see if I can find some white shea butter. Because they only have yellow in this store. And the yellow one is real greasy. We're going to talk about that another day. But, yeah. Um, they're probably not going to let me record in there either. So, I guess I'll just see y'all when I get home and I'll show y'all everything I got. Okay? Peace hey out. Guys. Okay, so we are back from the store. And I have lots of shiny new things that I want to show you guys. So, first of all... I got Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all know this is one of my staple products. This product's not going anywhere. It's going to be with me forever. Probably. Um, I also got this Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. I've never tried this brand before. So I figured I'd try it out and see how it goes. Um, and I also got this Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream from the same line. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not really focusing, but I also got this Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner Sample. And I know I just bought some leave-in conditioner, but I figured I'd try something out. I haven't tried a new leave-in conditioner in like two or three years. So I figured I'd try out something new and it cost me $3. So if it doesn't work, it won't hurt as bad. Yeah, I picked up this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Just because I am impulsive sometimes. And I got some nail polish remover because my nails looking raggedy and I need to remove some nail polish. <laughs> so from the beauty supply store, as I told you guys before, I couldn't record in there, but I did get some Eco Styler Gel, the black castor oil and flaxseed oil, Eco Styler Gel, the new one that just came out. I haven't tried it yet and I feel like I'm the only person in the world that hasn't. So I decided I'll pick it up and try it out and see how I like it. But that is, oh, and I also got some scrunchies because, you know, scrunchies. I want to do some reviews for you guys. So that's why I picked up some extra stuff and splurged a little bit. Will not be splurging for a while. Y'all know how it is. But yeah, that that is it. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little shopping 
vlog for natural hair products hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow me on social media it is at janelle sequira xo that's my instagram and twitter and my snapchat is janelle sequira 95 so y'all go ahead and follow me so that you don't miss all the extra stuff that's going on in my life if you if you care <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching once again i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Girl, you got my mind blown, and you still got your clothes on. Not your whole things, I can't get enough.